From ganja to gardenias, believe it or not, Snoop Dogg is tackling an unexpected new business venture that no one saw coming. This hip-hop legend is diving into the flower industry, investing millions in one of the largest wholesale florists in the country. You likely know Snoop Dogg as the multi-platinum rapper behind hits like Gin and Juice and Drop It Like It's Hot. But beyond music, Snoop has proven to be quite the savvy businessman with diverse investments in everything from cannabis to Reddit. Now, in a move that's sure to surprise many, Snoop is exploring uncharted territory by acquiring a minority stake in Oxford Gardens. But why would a hip-hop icon want to get into the floral business? Before revealing his motivations behind this peculiar investment, let's learn about Snoop's business portfolio, savvy investments, and passion for community outreach over the years. From acquiring death row records to launching a youth football league, there are many factors that pave the way for Snoop's floral foray. Stick around as we delve into the unexpected next chapter in Snoop Dogg's wide-ranging career. Who would have thought it would involve flowers? This new endeavor may seem odd at first glance, but just watch as Snoop puts his trademark twist on shaking up the floral industry. Snoop Dogg, the legendary rapper, media mogul, and cannabis entrepreneur, is a man of many surprises. But perhaps nothing has caught fans and industry insiders off guard quite like his latest passion project, the flower business. That's right. The hip-hop icon is diving headfirst into the floral industry, acquiring a minority stake in one of the largest flower wholesalers in the country. It may seem absurd at first glance that the dog father is getting into the flower game, but take a deeper look at Snoop's story, and this peculiar new endeavor starts to make perfect sense. Snoop's tale begins like many other great American success stories, with hustle, raw talent, and a supportive family. Snoop grew up around music from the time he was born, Calvin Broadus Jr. in Long Beach, California, in 1971. His parents performed in a local gospel group, and his enthusiastic uncle introduced him to R&B, soul, and funk records. By high school, Snoop had already started freestyling with friends. His unique vocal delivery, charisma, and wordplay showed immense promise. His teachers noticed his talent, pushing him to develop his skills by joining the school choir and marching band. Little did young Snoop know that he was laying the foundation for an era-defining career. After graduating high school, Snoop was in and out of jail for drug charges, but he continued honing his craft, developing a signature smooth, melodic flow. A mixtape of his songs eventually landed in the hands of Dr. Dre, and the rest is history. Dre featured Snoop on his seminal 1992 album, The Chronic. Songs like Nothing But A G Thang and Dre Day introduce Snoop's languid style to the world. Snoop's star only rose when his debut album, Doggy Style, dropped in 1993. Filled with California sunshine and hazy rhymes, it solidified G-Funk as a cultural force. Snoop became one of the biggest breakout rappers of the 90s, his music providing the soundtrack for parties, low riders, and lazy summer days. But while we all know Snoop Dogg as the charismatic hitmaker behind classics like Gin and Juice, his personal life wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Snoop spent much of the 1990s entangled in the criminal justice system, charged with murder and racketeering. While eventually acquitted of the most serious charges, Snoop still faced weapon and drug possession charges that resulted in multiple arrests. During these tumultuous years, it was family that grounded Snoop. Even when facing serious jail time, Snoop always remembered his supportive mother, grandmother, and uncle who first nurtured his musical talents. They kept him resilient during his darkest days. This close familial connection stays with Snoop to this day, directly inspiring his unexpected new career as a florist. Because it turns out Snoop has fond memories of gardening with his mother and grandmother as a child. 
They tended beautiful flowers together, bonding over the beauty of nature. So when the opportunity arose to invest in Oxford Gardens, one of the country's largest flower wholesalers, all those cherished memories came flooding back. Snoop saw a chance to honor his family roots and give back to communities like the one he grew up in. As he tells it, I've always liked flowers. They bring joy and really brighten up people's lives. I feel like getting into the flower business is one of the ways I can give back and show love to neighborhoods like where I came from. For Snoop, this is much more than just slapping his name on a product or chasing the next payday. He wants to fundamentally transform the floral industry to make it more inclusive and inspiring. Because historically, flower shops and floral arrangements have targeted a narrow demographic. When most people think of florists, stuffy old white ladies come to mind. The culture around flowers can feel exclusionary especially for people of color and youth. But Snoop is passionate about shaking up these tired stereotypes and bringing new life to the industry. He plans to create signature products that feel exciting and relevant to younger audiences. Think of flower arrangements branded after his most iconic songs and albums. We can expect to see bouquets named after hits like Gin and Juice and Drop It Like It's Hot soon. He envisions lush flower shops on corners in Compton, flourishing nurseries in Harlem, and bouquets celebrating black and brown joy. While Snoop Dogg is one of the most uniquely captivating rappers ever, he contains multitudes. We tend to put celebrities in boxes, but Snoop transcends expectations. Yes, he's a brilliant MC, but he's also an ace businessman, a visionary, and an inspiration to youth. By getting into the flower game later in his career, Snoop shows that growth never has to stop. There are always new ways to channel creativity and make a difference. For Snoop, floral design represents a fresh canvas and a new chapter. We can't predict what endeavors Snoop will explore next, but we know they'll reflect his values, uplifting others, celebrating community, and always striving for excellence. The floral industry may seem like an unlikely match for Snoop Dogg on a surface level. Yet, looking closer, his passion for bringing creativity and opportunity to underserved groups shines through. Snoop has never been one to think outside the box. So while his flower shop ambition seemed peculiar at first glance, expect Snoop to breathe new life into this age-old industry. Once again, he'll blaze a bold trail and inspire others to dream bigger along the way. After 30 illustrious years in hip-hop, Snoop is proving he can cultivate equally beautiful art through floral arrangements, different mediums, same groundbreaking vision. Get ready for bouquets and centerpieces infused with Snoop's one-of-a-kind flair. The dog father is thrilled to spread beauty and joy through his new floral designs. Snoop says it best himself. I'm always looking to expand and try new things that bring joy and inspiration to people's lives. Flowers have always brought me joy. Now I want to share that feeling more broadly. Just when you thought you had Snoop figured out, he sprouts in a new creative direction. But that's his genius, never being predictable always chasing inspiration and uplifting voices along the way. Watch as Snoop Dogg blossoms into the florist the world never saw coming but sorely needs.